More proof Corinne Jean-Pierre is horrible at her job. The White House press secretary snapped at a radio host on Tuesday when pressed on listeners' concerns about Joe Biden's mental decline. When I told a number of people that I was talking to you today, it was interesting, though, they all said, would you please just ask her, does the president have dementia? And so before I move on from that, does he? That, Mark, Mark, I can't even believe you're asking me this question. That is a credibly offensive question to ask. And when the host tried to move on to another question, she was just too offended to continue. How does uh, Mr. Biden win votes when people don't have as much disposable income? Look, the president understands. Uh, he grew up in, in a middle-class family. We are in a different place than we were a year ago on gas prices. Uh, eggs, milk, uh, seafood products, uh, all the important uh, groceries, those costs have gone down because of what this president has been able to do. And, th and with that, thank you so much, Mark. Have an amazing, amazing day. Wow. Wow! <laughs> but isn't it her job to answer the tough questions? It seems Biden's spokesperson has a hard time answering even the easy ones. I'm just not going to get into uh, specifics. I'm not going to get into, into that. I don't have an update for you. I don't have anything beyond that. I'm going to be really mindful, and I have to say this. There's a Hatch Act. I am a federal employee. And I'm not going to uh, provide any more details beyond that. I just don't have anything else beyond that. All right, Dana, I have to go to you first. Okay, first of all, 60% of Americans think that Joe Biden doesn't have the mental acuity to, for the job. 86%. Okay, well, poll. my stats are wrong, that he lacks the mental ability oh. to hold office. Uh, and also, her response was, he grew up in a middle-class family in Scranton, as if that's an answer. Well, that was about the inflation point. I just think I, I'm so glad to have an opportunity to talk about this for a moment, because for a presidential candidate, Doing local media is the harder thing to do than the national media. The national media, the White House press corps, as you've seen with President Biden, is pretty easy. But when you go into local media or talk radio, then you have to be on your toes. You have to be prepared. Jeannie Mama worked with us in the Bush White House. She would just make President Bush listen to all of those questions, even if he had 100 other things to do. She's like, let me tell you something. They're mad about the potholes in Charlotte, so they're going to ask you about it, and he would have a good answer for it. So... They're trying to do this pivot to the South, and this was a hilarious start. Were they not prepared? This same radio station is the one where Mark Levin appears, okay? And also, I thought he was actually pretty respectable to her, asking her about gas prices. That's what people care about. And if she doesn't have a better answer to the, either the mental acuity or the fact that it was 86% think he's too old to run again, you think you're not going to get asked that in every single interview? You absolutely are. They know that that's the, in, the question that they're going to get. This did not serve the president well, but it really helped the, local, the, the talk radio host get more attention, and yeah. deservedly so. You can't hang up on them. It reminds me of this, and my last thing is, in the White House briefing room, this, I don't know who stopped this tradition. The press secretary was never the one who ended the press briefing. You had to wait until the senior wire reporter said, you're done. Okay, thanks. Over time, it might have even been during the Obama administration, maybe during Trump, they would just close up the binder and walk out. That's not acceptable, I don't think, from a taxpayer-funded spokesperson. You should sit there and answer the question. You know, Jesse, by, by hanging up, she confirms Americans' concerns that, you know, their, their concerns are not being answered by this administration. Joe Biden doesn't go out. Even his press secretary is willing to hang up on you. Mm -hmm. It's not a classy move. It's not a mature move. It's not a professional move. You stand in there, you take the heat, and the guy didn't come out out of the gate and yeah. says, does the president have dementia? He says, this is the one thing that thousands of my listeners are asking me to ask you. So she just should be prepared to answer that question. If it's that, I believe, one of the top issues for voters. And then the top issue is inflation. So she bangs on this guy like that after, what, a minute and a half? Mm -hmm. That is, that makes them look so bad yep. in North Carolina Everyone in North Carolina is talking about that right now. They're not talking about the Inflation Reduction Act. Yep. And, you know, Jessica, Trump took a mental acuity test and aced it. Why won't Biden? Mm -hmm. Well, this mental acuity test, which included identifying animals and counting backwards by a factor of seven, is something they give to people that have been in traumatic accidents. So I well, don't know why he's... Why uh, wouldn't why Biden take it? He's had I, a couple of brain surgeries. He has, it, 
Come on. It's embarrassing when Trump says that and when he did, like, man, person, woman, camera, or whatever he said to Chris Wallace. But, you know, we sit here in a very privileged position in an air-conditioned studio and get time to think about, well, how do I want to respond to this question? But you do have that job, and this is an issue. And this topic for Biden has gotten demonstrably better over the course of the last month. Think about where we were before the State of the Union, when it was what everyone was talking about. Ezra Klein came out with that piece saying, it's not going to work, you should just resign a hero. And because Biden has been out there in the last week, he's so you visited think the seven... American people feel better about Biden since he was ja- jagged well, up that's for what the all State the... of the Union? He wasn't jagged up in this accusation <laughs> that he was on drugs is a little absurd. But, yeah, I do feel that, and it's reflected in the polling on it, how much money he's fundraising and the kind of campaign that he's running. He's been to every single swing state since the State of the Union. You can see it. Donald Trump has had that rally in Ohio. Otherwise, he has been in courtrooms and he's been golfing. There's a story to tell, and she didn't tell that story. And I don't think that... Okay, go ahead. And it is. Everyone who is listening, even the most diehard partisan on the other side deserves to hear what the company line is on this. And I don't think that it's fair to the listeners and to this guy who did present the question, I thought, in a very respectful way to say this is coming from your constituents. because She's there as an envoy for the president. Mm. Greg, yesterday, Joe Biden said he took a train over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Do you think he's with it? Mm. Well, you can't take a train over that bridge. There are no (laughs) rails there. So I think he's doing fine. You know, um, uh, I wouldn't have led with that question. Maybe that was the problem, right? You don't start off with that question. Uh, But, you know, you put a man out who's clearly out there and clearly in cognitive decline. It's a legitimate topic. I would have I would have chosen a different way to do it. Like, he needs to, the, the reporter needed to layer his question with the appropriate BS that you, that these people like, you know, it's, instead of saying, you know, I've heard, say, like, Kareem up here, I'm so happy to see you on National Paella Day. You're such an inspiration for everyone, including people and women of color. Uh, President Biden is obviously at hard work, you know, trying to make sure America is safe for democracy and from the evil forces of Trumpism and white supremacy. We know how terrible that is. And how does he deal with the concerns from not just his critics (laughs) and the people within his party that he has a brain made of mush? (laughs) But she's so buttered up, she won't even notice it. And by the end, she's like, oh, well, actually, sir. (laughs) Yes. And you can watch that radio host, Mark Garrison, on the Ingram Angle at 7 p.m. tonight. Great booking. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.